the quick thing I want to say is huge thank you to Ricky who has given me permission to react to his videos on stream and giving me permission to upload my react on YouTube as well which is just so sweet. I so appreciate it. I tagged him in, in the title. I'm going to have all his links. And uh, if I can ask the mods to please pin the message of this is the video that we're going to be watching and also his channel. Thank you again, Bricky. Uh, if I see you here tonight, you're getting a big shout out. He's also almost at a million on YouTube. You know, support him. Check out the other videos. Watch it by yourself. Whatever you want. He also streams on Twitch television. Now, Zentrea. I have a question for you. Okay, I'll just tell you the question. What's the question? <laughs> uh, uh, what, what is your full Warhammer knowledge? Like, what would you say is the, where does it start? Where does it end, your Warhammer knowledge? I know about the Emperor. I know about the Space Marines. Okay. You know Do you know like everything about him? To, Do you know everything about him? Humanities. Like even his it's like more children? Like... Mm -hmm. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. <laughs> yeah, the children part. Okay. I remember okay. that part. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know much about the other races or anything like that? It was like they all got separated or whatever and started their own factions. Ooh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. How much would you say you know about the other? The and other. And then the orc are grown from fungi. Yeah, little mushroom boys. Mm hmm. Yeah. There's probably some other stuff, but I'm just not remembering at the moment. That's fair. My knowledge is pretty much the opposite of yours, where under my belt, I have three books. I have, uh, well, one book is like a three in one. I have The Infinite and the Divine, which is mainly about Necron, uh, Brutal Kooning, which is mainly about orcs, and then the Siaphas or Caiaphas Cain books, which are three of them. Uh, I also know a little bit from playing Mechanicus and, you know, Dark Tide. I don't think we really learned much about the lore in Dark Tide. Uh, so my knowledge is more so about the stuff that isn't the Emperor, uh, which is why I'm excited to kind of know more about the Space Marine Legion and just in general more stuff. Uh, have you watched any of Ricky's videos before this? I mean, people should have the space rooms, but I think they're kind of cool. And this will be my first time. Yay! All right. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead with every single Warhammer Space Marine Legion in a nutshell. Uh, can you double check that you have volume on when you spectate off me in the Discord? Hold on, let me. A shaker cup. Did you have volume there? Yep. Awesome. I hear it. All right. Well, everybody, get your waifu cup of this bad. I kind of want to see the sad just because it's. Oh wait, is it too loud? Is it good? After many, Zen, many we should really learn how to make ads like this. Gamer subs like mad. My favorite thing to do. We have. I can't skip his ad, y'all. <laughs> shaker cup. It's here. He's the letting us watch this. Bricky waifu shaker cup. Do you see the gal on here? If it's if it's not. Kind of looks like you, Zen. There'll be a thing in the background. The skater. The gal the on his cup. Long white hair. You should hair, sue him. Absolutely. A bit more toned abs. Obviously, then you have to sue him. Hit it. Legally distinct mark on the face. Of course, I have she that mark. wants you to do the well, I'm going to sue him. Maybe, <laughs> but most likely to serve in a glorious army. Legally distinct? Get I think so. The Bricky We're Shaker you, Cup Bricky. is available now. And you should get it while it Two is hot. Two out of the but three people thinking, Bricky, here right now have this? waifu well, how cups. How about my top ten Favorite gamer subs flavors. From he doesn't even have your flavor as his top 10. ten. All of them incredible, but listed regardless. Zen, and we can't an watch this. For those that are He's not even repping your this favorite, favorite flavor. This is available now in the description of this video. You may use code Bricky as well at checkout to get a discount. I can't believe on this. Your order. A massive 
amount of profits goes to yours truly and a huge thank you Zen's to gamer subs let me turn her up a bit and for getting me this beautiful or beautiful i can turn cup. go out him there and down get it. here I'm and turn him up there sit for the camera slow it down throw some sexy okay. music in there i'm not talking at the moment yeah soon. i know i know you know how chat is though <laughs> no worries this is a great ad <sighs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Berkey. Currently Hi, stuck Berkey. in the walls of the most prodigious school in the Imperium by punishment for falling asleep during class. God bless the Skola Progenium. Many of you have come across my Every Faction Explained video. Firstly, thank you. Secondly, we are here to dig a little deeper. Space Marines are the quintessential poster boys. Are you a talker Warhammer when you watch 40, videos? I forgot so to ask you. Think 40K, they think Space Marines, but. There are many types of yes, space marines. Yes, I can okay. definitely be. Because I am a talker. <laughs> we are going to rattle them I off talk so much and give over you a stuff. quick rundown of I'm so one. sorry I'm in advance. Claimer. Like in my Every Faction Explained video, this is a mix of accuracy yeah, and memes. No if worries. I say the Salamander's Legion specializes in hugging children and petting oh. puppies. They aren't exactly doing that. Why mostly. not? I would like to bet this creature. But you can infer that they care about civilians and are a bit kinder than the average space He's marine. asking me to marine. think. I love how a each different type of faction from the space marines new and has their own set armor. I don't with know about that yet. I'm hoping to learn. Bodies ...and are so far above the average human that they are referred to as demigods instead. Each I put space battles? marine has a father, unlike you, a primal. Which is basically an even I am fatherless. He died. How dare you? By the god emperor of mankind. Yeah, the soldiers. Whenever they see one, see they are just like an all the because they're basically the angels to them. Of humanity. The primarchs are his 20 sons. Built well, I in thought a lab he had 13 sons. Oh. Of space marines, who are their sons. Not from a lab. But Regular foot a soldiers table, rarely ever the see space marines. Of their associated you know the lore. A gene seed. Hold on, a special organ carrying the genetic makeup up of their primarch. A gene seed. And, Interesting. you know, their seed. So if Jagatai Khan of the White Scars has the genetic makeup that wants him to go really, really fast, then his sons, the Space Marines, also want to go really, I really want to play the Space Marine game, game by the way. The you saw the trailer of it? If you're interested in sub-factions like, let's say, the Black Templars, then it's not going to be here. Which However, one's Space Marines too? Uh, it, it showed us a quick trailer the at the Game Awards. One I can think of. It goes through the whole lore, everything about them. It's a very long video. I'll, I'll put it in after. the description. Just look up Black Templar video You need to play the Space Marines number one. I do. on Steam right now. I do. I also need to play both guns. Let's begin with our first Legion. Oh, let's start. That's also a really freaking good Dark game. Angels. Tell me when Legions? you get to your favorite. Loyal. Okay. Ah, oh, the Dark Angels. Oh, they're not loyal. Damn it. <laughs> I believed him. A duelist, a knight, a real Freaky, asshole. you can't lie to me like this. The single word descriptor. Paranoid. The Dark Angels oh are the first just legion, like hailing from the death world known as Calabam. Their primarch, Lion L. Johnson, <laughs> is what happens when you try to make the side profile Chad meme into a genuine character. Okay, he is I a can see where this guy is. A brilliant strategist and an so overall popular. Dick. There are few situations he isn't prepared for, and few fights he this isn't is ready so to well lead done. head on. This makes the Dark Angels have a very Knights of the Round Table vibe. They look like the Knights of Old with these large suits of power armor, often donning robes and hoods. Their names also follow this. They have like Ezekiel, Azrael, Zent Belial, Zentrea. Samuel and so on. However, the common thing associated with Dark yeah, Angels are they the don't like the Tempest. part of their faction Tempest. that turned traitor against the Imperium and they, they look are the very awesome. heavily trying to expunge all knowledge of them from existence. Oh, fallen? interesting. What fallen? I've never heard of any fallen. Do you know about the fallen? We're going to take you away and mind probe you to make sure you I've have never heard of the fallen. I've come to realize the cooler that they look, they do the more exist, evil they, they are, are. We will and fucked up they, they are. Exist. Yeah, they Zen, their just like you. Lionel have you Johnson seen yourself? Look at your color scheme. You're a villain. It's given really do be like that. Which You're black and red and green. You're all villain colors. The whole world different Primark, whose mom was there, he was like, Let's nuke it. The Dark Angels Aww. are a special group where they formulate themselves into three different factions. The Deathwing Terminators, slow moving, tough oh, phalanx. They look the cool. Ravenwing, fast jet bikes and flyers. And the Green Wing, which is your standard Marines. They are a jack of all trades, but not in the sense where they're good at everything, but rather they have a lot of things that are good 
at specific things. Um, like instead of 20 does the Horus Heresy cover? This is the question for chat. Does the Horus Heresy cover a lot of these different factions? Do you like being suspicious or... about everyone and everything in your surroundings? But you also like to they have a whole great. lot of deep night type lore. Run the dark. Okay, ages. they will the cover it. Perfect. Piece! The One Piece is real. Our second legion is a special one. They're all special. Not the One Piece. Yeah, the One Piece. If you can oh, see, the memes yeah, on this edit. The numbers all go to Wait, 11. what the happened to the second children. legion? Allegiance? What? Traitor. Primarch? Uh -oh. Fulgrim. A perfectionist. An artist. Well, you know he's a, a good guy snake. when he's purple. And a single word descriptor? Perfection. The Emperor's children are all, the good all guys about are purple. the pursuit of perfection. Perfection in all they do. Perfection in war, in oh, artistry, that guy's and perfection sick. in every other aspect of he life. Looks awesome. Their armor is a gleaming pink. Look at his small little hands, gold. though. <laughs> their ships have spires Tiny of little gorgeous <laughs> marble and gold statues in their honor. Wow. Griffin is a man who believes the pursuit of perfection is the goal of all things. And I mean, I'm seeing my next him. outfit Can already. Can you truly tell me that he is not perfect? I the do hand, like the like the, the ships and the warhammer. The one you look Universe at and like the space had a guy marines. that would give you the best great. sex you've ever had and Wait, never call you back. This is the fucking guy. What? Which is why this pursuit of decadence led them to the evils of chaos. Yes. Let's go. Emperor's children are Literally. our first chaos sex. legion and not Woo! just a normal one. Chaos one legion! To... My people. Ooh, you guessed it. Slanesh, the prince Woo! of pleasure, god of unspeakable excess. The emperor's children in their pursuit are now horrifying Hell and yeah. mutated beings through Slanesh's great will. They torture and maim. I like this legion. Perfection through pain. They screech and attack with sonic weaponry for perfection through sound. And they slaughter aiming for Whoa, oh. that armor. <laughs> <laughs> For perfection in war. Sorry, Fulgrim Ricky. We watched. We watched your full just get an advertisement. Listen, we watched the full. Uh, Ain't no way. We watched the full paid paid ad of Bricky. I will skip the other ones. Bricky, if you're listening, I gifted you a hundred gift subs. I I asked permission. I watched your full ad. I'm skipping all the other ads. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> against Slanesh as a demon sword corrupted his mind and transformed him into I'm sorry. the what you got to do. Into the oh my god, look at those he abs. Now. He has like well, a demon primarch corrupted. Okay, no, this is my favorite primarch. By himself. He said, as he's far a as snake. Emperor's children go, they are some bad people. Wow. They do horrible, horrible things. Then I changed my mind. This is my favorite and legion. Everything. In fact, they're such trolls oh that god. their battle cry is for the emperor, despite being horribly <laughs> mutated and corrupted. If you've ever taken a little too much, Zed, I lied. These are my favorites. Or, or maybe the music at the concert was too loud and you didn't bring any earplugs or whatever. Are the those reason. You just take gummies. all those they are. and you <laughs> dial it and you dial it and you twist it and the knob breaks and that. Is the emperor's oh, children. they look like little rock and rollers. God, we mean I love them. And we have killed him. The Iron Warriors. Allegiance, traitor. Primarch, Percherabo. A warlord, a siege smith, an incel. Single word descriptor. <laughs> Siege. Continuing the trend of our <laughs> Chaos Legions, we have the Iron Warriors led by Primarch Percherabo of Olympia. To understand the Iron Warriors, though, oh, one must first I know understand these guys. Percherabo. You do? A man so bitter, coffee They're beans cousins? run for light. A man who hates the yeah. world and these guys are kind of cool. Who never got recognition for his deeds. Who hates his brothers and hates their accomplishments even more. Aww. Someone so loud. He's like the middle petty, child. So incredibly bitter that he goes full circle to becoming likable. Why? <laughs> because he's competent. Oh, wait. The Horus no. Heresy. These are the wrong guys. We didn't talk about the Horus Heresy. These are the guys who... Intermission. The babies. Uh-huh. So Horus was the Emperor's favorite son. I right? mean, hey, I don't blame you. There's so many legions. Room. There's so Horus much stuff. Said, dad, Dad, I just gifted 150 subs to Amaranth, and she said my name a ton, and she loved me for it. I really think wait. that I might get to meet her one day. I gifted 100 subs to Bricky. I, too. I I am him. I did and this. Kind of played out something like. I this. hope one day I get to meet Ricky. No. They are real to me. And then yeah, we're friends now. A little bit more like this. He let me it's react to his videos. I gave him money. Spoil. We're friends. Let the stars fall. Oh wow. So it takes the last drop of my blood. Yeah. 
even in So Iron death. Warriors, the Horus Heresy wouldn't have Beyond gotten Mishaya. shit done without Peter Turbo. Imagine an entire Peter. faction that is the personification of brutal industrialism, where you <gasps> serve the Legion until your dying breath. You build and you kill and you siege and you it. kill and you literally Big summon demons just yes. to take them and trap them uh -huh. in machines and use them as cannon fodder. Okay, this but that's just smart. They, they summon it's like coal power, but demon power. As shock troops, the Iron Warriors are. Oh, that is so smart. Incarnate. They are heavy weapons. They are tanks. They are turrets, and they don't die. They hate Imperials. Yes. They hate Imperial fists. Do you need a pacifier, Iron Baby? No. No, that is no. genius. Bitter, yeah, incarnate. move over, Cole Power. Turbo and the Iron Warriors don't serve the, the demonolo because they like them. Demonologist they revolution. Serve them because fuck you. Come yeah. on, guys, let's go. Not another speeding ticket. Ooh, white I'll fight scars. it in court, but I don't think they're gonna accept gotta go fast as a medical condition. The White Scars, Allegiance Ooh. Loyalist, Primark. Jagatai Khan, a speed I can't demon, remember. A plain strider, There's a certain a faction that nobody Single ever sees. When they do see him, speed. that's Hailing the last thing they Shigoris. see. Is that so the I second legion? <laughs> to see them. Speed. They Is that love the second melee, legion? But they love it even okay, more look at that bike doing it from a with the guns. I don't wow. believe it. Is. Honestly, just running really damn fast. The White Scars are yes, honestly forgotten yes, about yes. a lot. And that's I think more it's the accurate. Gray they are a legion mm. that doesn't seek the recognition or glory from the combat they, they engage really in. Cool. They engage the in gray it Knights because are, it is their duty think, and because really they love fucking it. Cool. Not in the insane I can't wait to see them. enjoyment of loving it, but in the thrill oh, of the everybody fight, likes they the gray are Knights. known as okay. the laughing killers because they ride Ooh. in the battle with a smile on Zen, their face like and you a chuckle in their throat. And as you can tell by their Primarch's name, they are Mongolian based horses and replace them with motorcycles and land spears that's cool. and that's your style they are heavily based on the old times of genghis khan and consensus is 40k and everybody's evil you know that fits the white scars are actually physical scars on their body mm. going back to their heritage the scar horde i guess horse. instead of the, the golden horde it's kind of a dickhead but but a reasonable one he thinks ahead he's intelligent he's patient he is often underestimated because he doesn't scream his accomplishments from the rooftops God, his what armor makes him cool. and the white scars dangerous his skills are kept at bay only to be truly shown when the time is needed the white scars are a forgotten legion often but that doesn't diminish their accomplishments all it does it surprised those who underestimated He's on a them. bike with Speed, guns awesome with the sword. <laughs> I love them. Really like to look how cool they look. The Holy. Shameless thirst break. Oh my God. Okay. I'm sorry. We're just going to. I have premium on my YouTube account, but I opened a guest account for this. Because I don't know. Wolf. Since I'm reacting, I just the feel like it's, you know. Wolves. Allegiance. The Loyalist. Space Wolves. Primark. Lima so I know these guys, Viking, too. Savage, The Undertaker. Ooh, Single word cool. descriptor. Wolf, 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 wolf. There's so many <laughs> goddamn wolf units. Skater, <laughs> how many units in the Space Wolves Codex have the word wolf in their name? I want to see. 13. Yeah, the that's Space not that bad. Space Wolves are the sixth legion and hail from Fenris, a frozen wasteland of a world with For their primarch. For some second, I thought he was going to say Finland I don't really need to when he like really put emphasis on the F. Space Wolves because it's very obvious who they are they are the second most like obvious what their shtick is legion in really? the 20 legions besides the world eaters when you look at the space wolves behind is what do you see? Do you see vikings in space you've done it congratulations you have found vikings in space but they have as much in common with a regular marine as an old day viking with, with like a roman soldier you see as a space marine your body yeah, is so enhanced that, that you like filter out really poison crazy. and so you can't get drunk the space wolves oh, distill man. a special mead out of a horrible i don't want to be a space marine anymore a normal human, i changed my mind then. so they can get drunk they have fangs in their mouths they sometimes cannibalize their enemies yeah, yeah they, sometimes they yeah. eat people because they gain knowledge about them from there and about battle yeah. plans the these guys are, are kind savages. of a they're raiders they're vikings but despite all of this they are loyal to i'm their sorry core. i really think yeah. the cons He's pretty on their much bike describing everything i'm saying stories and tales i think the bike with, with the guns with the swords was better <laughs> but at the same time he was so damn these guys are cool but gunning down his foes he i didn't come to space for wolves you know the show is devotion his devotion to wrestling if you want I vikings in space you know, baby. It. Play the Vikings in space. We're gonna build the wall. We have no choice. Somebody we said wrestling. Choice. Build that wall. Oh yeah. Build that. I can wall. see that. Build that wall. The Imperial fists. Allegiance. Loyalist. Primark. 
Rogel Dorn, a builder, Ooh. a phalanx, and he needs a hand. Single word uh. descriptor, fortify. The Imperial Fists are led by Primarch Rogel Dorn in their homeworld of Inwit. However, they themselves are actually a fleet-based chapter with their main source of recruitment coming from an enormous moon-sized ship called the Phalanx. The Fists Ooh. are a chapter you think of when you think of duty. They love to serve. The love to serve and the inability to be moved. Rogel Dorn is an architect a master builder, and basically a rock in brain and body. A lack of humor or ability to lie shows that he is as blunt as the weapons of war he creates. Uh. Not the swords he makes, but like blunt, strong weapons. The fists are the same. Take your archetypical American Marine style look, a buzz cut, a hard sense of duty, and then throw in some power armor and a love for building defenses, and you have the Imperial Oh, not the... Fists. They are that, What is it called? The phalanx? When you, spot, when you put the shield up and down and like these that. guys reach them their knowledge of defensive <laughs> warfare is paramount without them the horse heresy what was it called when they did so that yeah the phalanx mm -hmm. but thanks to the their turtle. insane and immovable <laughs> tenacity yeah. the imperial Matt. lives cute. today and let's not forget that iron warrior cute, and imperial cute, fist cute. rivalry want to know why the iron warriors are so bitter these guys are the reason why hey guys bring the thing where is he going it's crazy that that's only in like the legion right like there's so many different races with so much different stuff with so and this is just like hey, one part of humans you know <laughs> hey guys we missed literally get another dorn and Perturama get another are basically two sides of the same coin one is just a bit more level-headed and got better jobs if oh yeah and it's sibling rivalry at its everything finest space marines are good at bolters heavy weapons you and your vehicles, 19 you brothers are military fighting genetically force, the best start. yeah the fight husband is just literally day. rivalry mm -hmm. today I don't have any siblings, oh so I don't know what it's like. Oh boy, I'm always the best, the, the most Lords. loved, the Allegiance, most humble. Heretic. Primarch Conrad Kurz, a sadist, a vigilante, Ooh. the presso He had me at sadism. Word, fear. The Night Lords are my favorite legion, hailing from Nostromo and their Primarch Conrad Kurz. They are a traitor legion Kinda looks from a like planet a... <laughs> known as the Sunless World or the World of like a Endless vampire, yep. Night. Nostromo is a horrible hive city that is known for being host to some of the worst gang violence, murder, and working conditions around. The only thing keeping the population in check is the suicide rate. The Night Lords followed in the footsteps of their oh. Primarch, a man who believed in a twisted Jesus. sense of justice, right? and that the only way to make <laughs> humans compliant is through fear. Fear. The All Legion, right. bless him, has been lost on them as their ranks were repopulated by gang members. I can't murderers, explain it. Arsonists, he looks very Warcraft words, 3 with the long hair YouTube, and like the armor that way. Years old. Murderers before they were even oh. teenagers raised to become demigods. Now, fear is, is what cool they photo. sow and flesh is what they reap. The Night Lords are scared. Gum. They are the exact opposite of all other legions. They torture and they maim and they flee. The armor is so badass though. I fun. know. They run away often so they can come back and kill okay, you with more numbers. There was the Slanesh they worshippers. The they do the same the thing weak. though. They kill normal civilians because it's easy and flee any I mean, battle where they yeah, don't get possess good. overwhelming odds. They are the antithesis issue, of normal Niall. space marines. They are scum one time a world did not comply to their demands so they raided one of their ships and brought it into atmosphere the crowds cheered and clapped as it appears that they had won the battle and the airlocks opened and the skinned and flayed bodies of the crew were thrown uh. down in the populace in other words <laughs> A legion of gangers uh, and criminals add together a heavy. It probably took him such a long time to write this script. It probably took him such a long time to write this script. Zen. I like these ads. Oh, I have to. I like these ads. They give me a break from. Brutal. Uh, <laughs> they give My me a break. Faction. You have not done from the thinking. For five Blood years. angels. So Ooh. When people come Wait, he said it's his favorite faction, right? Sorry, one second. Influence them. Sorry, I missed You've it. You've got my favorite faction. Yeah, okay. I've done the dishes for five years. So embarrassed when people come over here. What does it matter? You bring them over, you kill them. Vampires don't do dishes. The Sorry, Breaky, for all the ads I skipped. Allegiance, 
loyal. Primark, I paid my dues. Sanguinius, an angel, a vampire, a dead ass you, motherfucker. Single word descriptor. Mm. Blood. The Blood Angels are Yummy. Ninth Legion, hailing from the homeworld of Baal, with their Primarch Sanguinius. The Blood Angels yeah. are a blood tribe angels of Hale, cool. with one of the best Love this Primarchs, aesthetic. one beloved by almost everybody. A Love genuine it. angelic wow. figure who led his people to glory, killed by the hands of the traitor I think Horus these are my second favorite or third the favorite. Oh, of their Primarch this is the guy that started the... Their gene seed basically the wars. created something known as the Black Rage. The Blood Angels degrade over time, experiencing something called the Red Thirst, Ooh. which gives them a genuine okay, no, that's not vampiric the guy. Oops. thirst for blood. Oh, it was Horus. Yeah, you're right. It is called the Horus Heresy. Down, they get angrier and angrier, becoming berserk killing machines with no other goal than to tear everything in sight. So Horus apart. killed but him and then, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. They see themselves there at their primarch's wow. demise with Horus in sight. And to them, it's time for vengeance. That space marine over there, that chaos space marine, that's Horus. Kill him. That orc war boss. Oh yeah, over there? I see him. Horus. <laughs> Kill him. That Tyranid swarm, one thousand hey, 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 horses. Hey, hey, hey. Horai! Kill him! Hey, 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 hey! Toast come Don't out say that. Burnt to your are sabotaged good. Sabotaged your toaster. And just... Destroy the toaster. Destroy it. Do it. Do, Do it. destroy Kill the toaster, toaster, though. Do it. This slow, debilitating Death to the toaster. over the blood angels, and it gives them what? this angelic... Death to the toaster! Oh, minute. ...catholic-inspired imagery. They have chalices of blood. They rest in Let's coffins. not get a little bit carried away here. To sprout angel wings from their bodies. You know when they, they had the photo of the god emperor and, the and um, look more the prime mark of, of the, the blood angels dying? Of their armors were very similar. Like the ninth prime mark and the god emperor have super similar color scheme and armor. The in that, iron hands. In that drawing. Loyalist. Primarch Ferris Manus, a machinist, an inventor, and not a great head on his shoulders. Aww. Single word? Bionics. Bionic me! Oh! <laughs> the Iron Hands are from the home planet of Medusa and their Primarch Ferris Manus. Does Ferris Manus have an Iron Hand? You fucking Don't know he's know got about an these Iron guys. Hand. The Iron Hands <gasps> believe that the flesh is weakness. But despite all of their enhancements, despite all the things that made them demigods, replacing some of the flesh with bionics will allow them <laughs> to serve the Emperor more. They go harm into vehicles and dreadnoughts. Dreadnoughts being giant walking wow. sarcophagi Looks that have good. wounded space marines piloting them from the inside. Vehicles, metal upgrades. These are the things that make up this legion. Their tech marines have servo arms sticking out from all directions. They yes. have a wide array of mechanics and extremely often I have learned all about servo arms and mechanics. all kinds of different functions to deal with their enemies. The Iron Hands are also not particularly nice. Uh, they're kind of assholes. I mean, marines are already normally pretty big assholes, but but they, they're a little bit up there because Literally of their, everybody ugh, there. flesh. Ugh, civilians. You'd fit right in. Ugh, ugh, because you see, the flesh is weak. Flesh is corruptible. Bionics, the strength of the yeah, machine that's why Zen is, is all bionic. pure and cannot so easily be corrupted. So if you want people but she is corrupted. a techno-fetishistic vibe to them that love their vehicles and their walking From coffins, the moment I understood the, the weakness of the flesh, Commander, disgusted me. Was never here. Legion 11. Also, techno-fetishistic is how I'm going to start describing you, Zen. Techno-fetishistic. I like it. Why, hello there. I have returned. Hey, you from, changed uh, your shirt. Wait a second. Touching grass. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Is it, did he just put a shirt on or is he wearing a touching different shirt under it? I'm Hold on. Oh. I think, I think it, I think it's a different shirt. Know. Because no, no, the, co the color is lower. The color is lower. Why, I think he there. changed shirts. I from, um, See, the color is lower. Touching grass. I know. Did he also grow his I'm facial hair? Cool. More? With the grass. This is a different day. How I'll could you? Our Warhammer lecture. Yes. Well, I thought you'd oh record it all in one day. Okay, so what's going on? Skip it. Where's my 11th Legion? The World Eaters. Allegiance. And my heretic. second. Primarch Angron. A butcher. Oh, he's a angry. slaughterer. Like extremely earth shatteringly unreasonably fuck ass mad single word descriptor anger hey you yeah you are you mad do you just 
fucking hate everything? Are you Do you want to murder everything in sight and get rewarded for doing so? Then you should join the world leaders. Home planet of Usaria and Primarch Angron, who, if the name didn't suggest, is real fucking angry. Angron was raised a slave, forced to fight in gladiator pits. When he refused, they shoved <laughs> old world tech I love that brain, picture so of it. Any emotion other than you guys anger, are supposed to be like just nothing but angry guys. All his sons just anger and like everything. Dad, he looks also put a so of these done with in their it. Brain. So now you have an entire legion who literally feel unimaginable pain if they are feeling any emotion other than anger slap them with a freight train of armor two goddamn chainsaw axes and you can see what's gonna happen Ooh. it's no wonder they're corrupted by corn they're honestly by a corn? surprisingly sad huh? legion that i actually screwed up in assuming that they were all just angry murderers i mean they are but they didn't start out that way. Their corn corruption degraded their intelligence, oh, their, core their free corruption. will, and made powerful warriors into arguably even more powerful warriors. But oh, corn like with the K. Sorry, the I mouth, thought you psycho warriors. The world eaters, like I mentioned, on the space TikTok, wolves, they, they wear when they want to talk about P O R N, they call it they corn. They are angry. That's they why I was confused. Kill things. They want to kill you and maybe some of their friends, for and that's. That's the faction. They're red. They're hey. mad. They're gonna run at you. And they remind me of death. Zentrea. If you like that? You play the world eaters, or you like it because they were, you know, at one point a lot better than that. Most of Warhammer was a lot better than that. I was once a lot better than that. That was when I was in college. A long time ago. I didn't finish college, and neither did Angron. I can make that joke because I too am well, the ultra fucking shit. Allegiance. Loyalist. Primarch Rabute Gilliman. Oh. That's how yeah, that's how it's said. An analyst, a diplomat, a blueberry boy scout, single I like this little gun. Duty. When you see Under space marines arm. on a box or just space marines in professional material, notice how they are always colored blue. These are the blue space marines. The, these yeah. ones here, the ultramarines, who hail from the world of Macrog with their Primarch Rabute Gorilla Man. Ultramarines okay. are, are the white bread of space marines. The, the grilled chicken Makes with sense. salt and pepper. This is by no means an insult. You need they a white bread. Jane, but you that's need a you need a rice. You need a spaghetti so with ketchup. They're good at their job. Their skill for warfare you need is a staple paramount, of cuisine. but so is their ability for leadership. Leadership. Gilliman for a while was a damn boring Primarch for all the reasons he was great. Because no matter how hard you try, you don't win a war without logistics, without supply lines, without trade Ooh. routes, without infrastructure Him and, full and economy. Armor with you the don't win anything laurel? without all that stuff. Big and brain. I love that. It, which is why he has one of the largest standing empires in the Imperium, named boy. Ultramar. Which is why his sons are the most recognizable of all the space marines. Mm. Which is why the only thing that rivals the weight of their victories is the weight of their egos they are good at everything hey. and bad at nothing they are great at everything other legions can do other things better than them but they are good at everything the most interesting thing about the ultramarines i'm is surprised their zen didn't say like me with various amounts of ultra depression for many reasons gilliman is Literally. at the time of recording the only playable primark currently on the tabletop and the only one that has returned to the Literally 41st me. millennium for the loyalist uh -huh. side he took one look at what his empire has become and immediately wanted to fucking die. Being forced to lead <laughs> everything he once hated, an Imperium rotten to its uh, core with his sole responsibility to save it, is kind of what makes him interesting. They are a perfectly standard legion with perfectly standard ideals and great if sense. you want a simple, clean slate. Uh-oh, stinky, oh. funny poop, poop funny, woo. The Death Guard. Allegiance, oh. heretic, Here we go. Nurgle? Tarion, a Papa reaper, Nurgle? a poison, an ungodly stench. Single word descriptor? I see, I see little rot. flyers. The Death Guard Yay. hail from Barbaros. Oh. With the Primarch Mortarium. The 14th Legion were known for their incredible resilience to damage. That's a lot of damage. Where the Imperial Zen, this is the U Legion. were defensive <laughs> thanks to tactics <laughs> and posturing, the Death Guard were resilient because they could take a punch or, or a gut shot or, or a cannon to the chest and, and just keep on moving. They are slow, yet they are resistant, mm -hmm. which was only confounded as a Death Guard captain, Typhus, 
code name Dickhead, sold them <laughs> out to Nurgle, god of rot and decay. Same, same now, the Death Guard me. are a Nurgle-worshipping infected legion whose ability to feel pain and take damage has all but just gone away. They wade through gunfire, able to kill normal marines 10 times over and continue unharmed, all while spreading rot and disease yeah. in the name of their dark, very stinky master. Where the Death yeah, Guard enter they're crazy as fuck, spreads, dude. people get sick and they die. They spread debilitating disease to all around them. Yeah. Why would a legion need to be anything more than very tanky when their enemies are falling over, puking, yeah. firing at both ends, and having their skin peel off just by their presence entire yeah. worlds infested with a zombie rot swarms of insects that oh, eat flesh and brutal. metal alike so all while the cool. legion advances <gasps> slowly i love bugs painfully allowing the disease they spread to take its toll before they reap the lives they believe belong to them and look at mortarian's model dude the man is baller as fuck a gigantic what? moth with a gigantic sight. yes come on now the death guard for my next trick i love I'm gonna fucking kill myself. The Thousand Sons. Allegiance? Heretic. Primarch? Magnus the Red. A scholar. Wait, a I think one of my books is about the nerd. Thousand Sons. Single sorry, 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 sorry. What? Chotomate? Sorry, one second, one second. I started packing for my move, so give me one minute. No worries. Yeah! Oh my god! One of my books yeah, is about this. Death Guard, Dark are pretty Imperium. Fucking cool, to be honest. Wait. Fell times have come to the galaxy. Katie has fallen, destroyed by the onslaught of chaos. A great rift in the warp has opened. From the dreaded scorched stars come the hordes of the Plague Father, Lord Norgal, and their pustulant eye is fixed on Makrage as the Indomitus Crusade rages. Ultramar. I'm pretty sure this is. No, it's my other book. Hold on. I bought. Two more books, but I'm not reading them right now because we're doing another one. Yeah, this is Dark Kadia. Imperium. Dark Imperium. KDS stands. I think I packed. I know for a fact. My other book, I didn't start reading Katia it. Katia stands. But it's about. It's about the Thousand Sons. I know for a fact. KDS stands. KDS stands. I don't get the reference because I haven't gotten there yet in my books. Oh, wait. Did I pack that other book? It was about... Yeah, anyway. Sorry. I'm back. Kadia stands. Magic. I also forgot to tell you, not only do I talk, but I pause. <laughs> Hades stands. Hail from their homeworld of Prospero with their Primarch Magnus the Red. The final of our four major Chaos God factions, the Thousand Sons are disciples of Zeech, the Changer of Ways. Okay. Heavily inspired by their Egyptian theming, the Legion themselves are slaves to the god of trickery and change. Most Hell of them yeah. no longer even having a physical form, reduced uh -oh. to just dust, piloting suits of armor at the whim Sounds of a familiar. sorcerer leader. The Thousand Sons do not deserve their fate. There's a common joke that Magnus did nothing wrong. Aww. This is untrue. He has done much <laughs> wrong. However, he is very Here sympathetic. We go. Mainly because the Space Wolves and Lehman Russ sought to end their rivalry through oh, the Wolf annihilation guy. of their legion, escaping only through the assistance of oh, the Changer God, of the armor's look and forever so good. changed because of it. Meanwhile, magic is their main tool. Take some Lovecrafty style abilities the mm -hmm. eyes everywhere and potent spells to be cast at their foes he did one thing wrong of psychic lightning <laughs> one total thing time itself Ooh, opening up scarab, portals like to that. unreality or changing the very fabric of the universe the thousand sun mm -hmm. sorcery knows no bounds and they are very good at it if you're a fan of like wizards your classic style of spell caster and you want a ton of them <gasps> combined with a tragic oh, backstory they and a look so who, nice like Mortarian, looks fucking Ooh, baller and the thousand does. sons are for you you fucking asshole there's no oh. way you're a fucking cheater you're such a sore loser you're a cheater this is the heresy oh, isn't it Nintendo. the sons of this Horus, is the heresy isn't it the here we go uh -oh. the black legion uh -oh. allegiance heretic primal uh -oh. horus a warlord a treasured friend or the <laughs> traitor himself single nope. word descriptor not a friend assault
The Sons of Horus Heretics. are the formal name of Horus's legion, hailing from the world of Chthonia. The Sons of Horus themselves were assault troops. The strength of their attack was some of the most powerful in the legions. While the White Scars may favor speed for their strikes, the them. Sons of Horus were known for On their, their bikes, overall their offensive power. It was even said that if the Sons of Horus met the Imperial Fists, they would be at a stalemate for eternity. However, oh, the Sons of Horus are no longer because, well... Hmm. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> They are now instead the Black Legion, led by Abaddon the Despoiler, who claims to succeed where his father failed. The Black Legion are still an offensive and assault-based force, but they act much like the Ultramarines, but for chaos. Your standard black and brass space marine who are known for recruiting in all different kinds of avenues. Anyone can become a member of the Black Legion. Anyone can Me swear too? allegiance to the War Master. You gain favored by not just one, Zen. but all four gods Zen? equally. It's They're Time. famous line, let the galaxy burn, is the best way to describe them. It doesn't matter what the outcome oh is. So long as if the, the shoujo Imperium doesn't work out for dies, us, then the Black Legion has done its job. They are a legion formed from hatred Let's join. and spite with a clear goal in mind. As I the mean, dark gods they do are have calling, some pretty cool and the Black armor. Legion Four are gods? Sure to answer. Hello. Uh? Do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? No. Death? Let the galaxy the burn? Bears. Allegiance? Heretic. Primarch? Lorgar Aurelian. A preacher. A fanatic. A choir boy. Single word descriptor? <laughs> zeal if the black legion answer the call of the dark gods what if instead you decide to call the gods first well then the word bearers are for you the 17th legion led by primark wait Lorgar why does he on the planet of culture why is why was he like kind of attractive no originally obsessed with worshiping the emperor of mankind as he a looked kind of cute found, despite Hear that, his divinity Chad. he was not worthy of worship because you he know, just was kind of looking. He was like, mm. of Jerusalem to the ground for daring to worship him. Like, could you imagine if, if God actually Go, showed that. up and was he ruined like, everything? Okay, stupid. but just, so did Zen, and thing. I still love like, her. What would that do to your head? But there are gods that want worship and will reward Fuck's those sake. who do. The word bearers are chaos worshippers to a hey. T. All. Chaos gods. They specialize if evil, in why cute? rituals, the summoning of demons, and the mutual possession of their I own like a bald troops. Man. They you welcome know? demons to their bodies to fight as one. They exalt the dark gods themselves for aid. And guess what? Wow. They answer. In the world of 40k, Satan doesn't just <laughs> call you back. He hops in his GT Mustang and he crashes That's actually on your kind couch. Of true, in the world of right? 40k, the your rituals will end with genuine results. The world Word bearers then let's this. summon demons. They know through sacrifices, through devotion, through dark. Imagine it's just baptism, mouse that shows up. Not in my house. They will be what the fuck? So they use You've it. seen they the animation where demons. she like breaks everything on stage. <laughs> they bring forth the power. Power of She's gonna show up and just break everything in, in the garage. In the dark to bear against the Imperium. Lorgar sits there smiling as the truth he always knew the existence of gods and the importance of faith is a reality and it is a tool he is using to rend the galaxy dear sir stroke madam Ooh, fire guys fire! exclamation mark i always like fire guys exclamation mark. <laughs> help me the salamanders allegiance oh, the loyalist. salamanders primark Vulcan, a uh, master, I see a everybody with the Vulcan a lips. Very huggy boy. Single word descriptor: fire. The Salamanders hail from Nocturne, a volcanic planet home to their Primarch Vulcan. They are the largest of the Space Marines, not due to numbers, but rather size. Okay. Vulcan, it, it, he is an enormous slab of beef, by far the <laughs> largest of all. Whoa, 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 I have to look away. He is also oh my god. <laughs> Salamanders have I wasn't expecting to just see like half naked men like that. Than other Marines, oh my god. Also an ashy, like, Jeez. Color skin and Give me a warning first. Eyes, while simultaneously oh carrying around all manner of flame weaponry. So your average civilian might be scooped, Yeah, it's the Gecko's favorite, uh, favorite faction of all the legions to those civilians. Like Vulcan your geckos. That to safeguard the Imperium is to, I love at your the bald end of the geckos. day, I mean, safeguard 
great sport. Only the bald so ones. So unlike other True. legions who put their lives far and above the average human, the salamanders spend significantly Aww. more time trying to save them, often taking numerous losses by doing so. They are very independent as well. They're forgers and blacksmiths, maintaining their own weapons and crafting versions of it. They also have the very rare privilege of being able to see their families even after becoming a space marine. They they care, which is the funny part, Aww. because the seven and a half foot tall Good giant boys. with flaming red eyes who just reduced a traitor to bubbling metal says, you have nothing to fear, young citizen. Take my hand. If you enjoy fire, melting things, and being the nicer of the Marines, hell yeah, salamanders are for you. Hell yes. <laughs> Oddly wholesome. With a bit of death. Sneak attack! Raven Guard. Saga, sneak attacks don't work if you yell it out loud. The Raven Guard. Allegiance, oh, they got a little loyalist. Beeps. Primark, Cute. Corvus Corax. A raven, a shadow, an industrial dance DJ. Single word descriptor. <laughs> Stealth. The Raven Guard are the final Loyalist Legion at 19 and hail from the planet Deliverance. I forgot to count Primark, how many are loyal, Loyalist, how many are disloyal. If it hasn't been made Is it about half and already, half? The Raven Guard or less. are stealth specialists and proficient in all manners of assassination. Nine Despite and nine, this, yeah. It's okay, that makes sense. Huh. Half and half. Yeah. Double lightning claw look is well. Not very stealthy. Hey, I like the claws. They're named after, of I course, think he looks Raven, cool. and embody the entire concept of it as a herald of death. They are stealthy, patient hunters that have no problem with waiting and waiting <laughs> and waiting until the moment to strike so like the is at hand. the next evolution it's not of witch easy doctors. being a stealth faction when your stealth involves people in one ton of power armor, yeah, but they that find the way. That, more than anything, should not be... Are they psychers? How, how are they able to be so stealthy? even though it is, but rather to show how good the Raven Guard are at their jobs. It's not about them sneaking around you without being seen, but it's also about them having They're just that good. wait for so long that it wasn't until they were in striking distance that you even realized they had been there. And also, if you want, you know, yeah, edgelord marines, they just marines, have placement and predetermined locations. Ravens everywhere. Yeah, they you definitely look boss. Assassins and snipers about. So they'll and just wait the like they. You. It could be okay. in this very room. It could be you. Okay, it could okay. Be me. Obvious. The Alpha Legion. Allegiance? Heretic. Primarch? Alpharius and Omegon. Saboteurs. Two? Fucking hell. Stabilizers. They're in your walls. Two? Single word descriptor. Why two? Espionage. Finally, oh. the 20th Legion. The Alpha Legion. Led by Alpharius and Omegon. The only Legion to have two Primarchs yeah. who were split as twins. The Alpha Legion oh, are heretical. okay. It's one of those. We think. And specialize in destabilization of society and armies. Their entire shtick is the Hydra. Because when you cut off one head, two more take its place. All of the Alpha Legion look exactly like their Primarch. Olive skin, shaved head. All mm. claim to be Alpharius. All are liars. They make oh, the largest that's fun. use of I like sleeper that. cells and cultists in the Chaos Space Marine factions because it's extremely so easy I love to color. take over a planet when you poison our water supply, burned our crops, and delivered a plague onto our houses. Where the Raven Guard I like that a lot, where everyone just pretends to, to enemies, be the leaders. The I love refer it. to weaken them over time with sleeper agents, impersonations, basically anything you can imagine from a hardcore spy movie or, or Cold War from level the espionage. Is I am Alphaeus. Is not only yeah, honor. you are. Me too, Being baby. Alpharius is a requirement. There's a story I'm of someone too. chasing down an Alpha Legion Where the twins for split years up upon birth. years, and when they finally catch up with them and they see them, they see that the agent is wearing the same face as their pursuer. Dun, this dun, was the plan dun. to kill him and take his spot. We're talking facial reconstruction surgery. Mm -hmm. We're talking hacking. We're talking political assassination and impersonation. Everything. They are space marines in name only because being a strong stoic warrior is not what the alpha legion is interested in in fact the alpha legion is interested in you not even knowing that the alpha legion is a thing i am alpharius you are alpharius we are all alpharius we are all alpharius lord's it's glorious true. army thank you everyone so oh my much God. for watching this video i hope you learned a little something i hope if you were on thank the you. fence about what Bricky. space marines you wanted Super to feel, informative. You now have a better yeah i kind of want to want to go back what were your favorites do you want to start or do you want me to start 
my love. I do like the blood angels. Yeah, they looked so, so good. The blood angels the, looked was it? amazing. The death legion? The death legion. Mm -hmm. Hold on, hold on. This is what I meant, by the way, with the with the image of the blood angels, where the emperor and the their primarch of the blood angels, they, they have like a very similar color. They have very similar robes. Everything is like the same. Right? And you said the death legion? Right? Death guard. Death yeah. guard, right? Death guard. Mm, yeah. Oh, my God. You're picking all the same ones as me. <laughs> So I think at the start, I really like just absolutely uh, brutal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think at the start, just from like seeing, you know, compared to like first Legion or third Legion, I prefer third Legion just because, you know, the coloring, the everything. But then as we got to more and more Legions and it got more interesting, uh, the first one I thought were really interesting is like the, the white scars. I think the fact that <laughs> this image specifically, hold on, hold on. He's like on a bike with a sword i love this i love this so much <laughs> he's on a motorbike with guns but he has a sword i thought that was really Both really look cool good. right Kill they him. look good they look fast they look good um next again blood angels look amazing i want to know more about them um as you said the death guard i love nurgle i love the way his armies look the the one that he showed where was it? He showed like a figurine. <gasps> it looked so good. Hold on. I want to find it. I want to find the figurine that he showed. It looked incredible. Oh, right here, right here. Hold on. Oh, my goodness. Look at him. Mortarion looks insane. Yeah, that does look really cool. It looks so good with the wings, with everything. Uh. I like the Thousand Suns, but I feel like I already like the Necrons. So the Thousand Suns, it's kind of like, well, I already like the Necrons. I already like, you know, guys who gave up their quote unquote humanity. They're not human, but you know what I mean? Uh, these guys too. I'm like, ah, oh, one, Necron that's not on here. That Sorry? still is my number one favorite. Which one? Is the Grey Knights. Oh, they're not here. I wonder if they're in another video, like maybe with the Sisters of Battle and stuff like that, right? Because they're not part of. Mm. Yeah, they're not part of the Legion. They did their own thing. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, hold on. We can, we can almost I, skip I highly Odia. suggest you watch that. Yeah, maybe we can. I, I have YouTube pr premium on like my main account, but I just, I opened a guest account for this. Maybe I can do my premium. Because that way, I think it just gives the creator the they would be at a cash for the ads anyway, right? They are the coolest ones. I want to see. Santa Horus looked good. The word bears I thought were cool, but I don't know if it's a recency bias thing, but Alpha Legion, Alpha Legion looks awesome. Alpha Legion with the whole espionage. First of all, the color scheme. I'm a sucker for teal and purple. And then the whole, like, everybody pretends to be the same person, the sleeper agents, the everything. Wah! I like that stuff. I like it. That spy is a spy. Yeah, that spy is a spy. And that spy is both of us. Literally. And I like the fact that nobody knows if they're loyal or not. Ugh. I definitely want to learn more about a few of these. I think, I think, fifth? Yeah. Fifth, I, I still do think, though, from the actual, like, Division Blood Angels and mm -hmm. Death Guards yeah? mm -hmm. are my favorite ones from this. Yeah, I don't blame you. They both look so freaking cool. They both look awesome. I want to, like, the Blood Angels, just the art. I feel like, first of all, we're always so attracted by the way things look, right? The aesthetics of it. And, oh, my God, the aesthetics of it. Ah, it looks good. Well, the Death Guard just don't fucking die so. They also got that going for them. I mean, that's that's what you get from Papa Nurgle. You get you get pestilence and, you know, rot. A long life of rot and decay. Isn't that exciting? Isn't that fun? You decay into nothingness slowly. So much fun. 
I want to ask everybody in stream, what has been your favorites from the video? I also want to learn more about 2nd and 11th Legion, which, you know, as we know, we haven't learned about them, but I'd love to learn more. White Scars, Space Wolves, World Eaters, Word Eaters. They were really, really fun, too, with, like, summoning demons. Death Guards, they don't exist, you heretic. They exist. Salamander. A lot of folks like salamanders. Huh. How come salamanders are such a fan favorite? Do they have a lot of lore? Or are they just cool and y'all like the way they look? Because I feel like sometimes the favorites is the ones that have more lore. They're the good guys. Y'all are so basic. Come on. You like the good guys. You like the goody two shoes. You're telling me you're, you're getting into this fantasy world and this fantasy game to be good guys. Come on. Live a little. Do a little crime. Do a little arson. Kill something. Unbelievable. They're all so sweet, Zen. What are we going to do with them? They're too nice. Yeah. Okay, arson is barely a crime. Okay. They want to be the good guys. You all like the good guys? Come they on. They are the heroes. Come on. Your second army was Tyranids? Tyranids are the good guys. They're just genetically enhancing their species. They care for the survival of their species. Also, their color scheme is great. I love them. You know? They're bugs. You shut your dirty mouth. Bugs are great, and we love them. Now that Zen's here, I'm feeling extra, extra saucy yeah, with the way I talk to everyone. Yeah, especially this bug right here. Yeah. You got to love the bug. You got to kiss the bug. You got to tell the bug in a sexy Freddy Fazbear voice that she's a good bug. That was for you, Zen. That was your cue. Hint, hint, Zen. What? You're supposed to say in your Freddy Fazbear voice that she's a good bug. Dance. Right. Sorry. She's a good bug. <laughs> Thanks, Freddy. Treya. Fred Treya. No problem. <laughs> I love that voice so much. Said, I think I like it more than the real you. Is that bad? You know what? That's fair enough. <laughs> can you say Autobots roll? No, can you say Decepticons roll out? Please. <laughs> Decepticons roll out. <laughs> I love you, Zen. Once again, before I'm done, uh, I am linking Ricky's video. Before everybody freaks out that I'm using light mode, I'm on guest mode. Don't freak out. Uh, please take a look at Bricky's video as well. Thank you again, Bricky, for letting us react to it. I really, really appreciate it.